Bismillah Walhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah My dear brothers and my sisters Assalamualaikum warahmatullah This is your brother Abdul Salam Abu Hanifa This is the third installment from the Quran studies And in this part here I will discuss couple more Ayat to explain further misunderstanding Ayat in Al-Quran that are today biting us very hard By the end of this talk, inshallah You would have clarified a few misunderstandings About some ayat in Al-Quran As a deity worshipped and the honor of mankind What for? Because I'm seeking refuge in him That a shaitan should whisper into our leaders And they lead us astray These leaders, they exist both in the jinn and in mankind. Now, does it make more sense? More holistic, more, yeah. more rather than something that's more um, uh, personal. Yes. Because it's Anas, the surah, the name of the surah is Anas people. How come we didn't make it in the individual? The word breast. Is wrong. Ebras is wrong. Here it means the people who are at the forefront, the leaders. You see, the army. Huh? Like, uh, what did the tafsir, because obviously they knew Arabic too, so what did they say about this? The same what's in there. Okay. Always remember, the mufassir, uh, no matter how big they are in knowledge, they are human beings. Prone to mistake. Yeah. And the tunnel thinking, because Ibn Kathir says it. And he is a great scholar, it must be right. Then I say it. And it doesn't make sense. I'll give you another example. Another example. Now, I want you to take Surah Ali Imran, that is Surah 3, and the Ayah 14. Beautified for men is the love of things they covet. Women, children, much of gold and silver. Branded beautiful horses, cattle, and well tilted land. So basically, this Ayah, Allah puts women and kids with donkeys and money and uh, crops and things like that. Okay, the very first thing that is not right. Zuyina linnasi hubbu al-shahawat min al-nisa wal-banina wal-qanatir wal-qanatir al-muqabda, etc. So zuyina, beautified. To whom? To people. To people. And people includes what? Man and women. We agree? Yeah? Hubbu, the love, al-shahawat, desires of, they translate women and children. The very first thing, if we take this ayah, as it is written in the, in the translations of the meanings of the Quran in English, or as the people understand it in Arabic, we are encouraging lesbianism. We say le being lesbian is good. Why? Because Allah has beautified to both men and women the love of desires of women. So a woman can tell you Allah has made it halal for me to love and desire other women. You never think of it, right? Because just like the woman would love tons of monies and horses and things like that, so she also can love women. Do you think Allah will tell such an absurdity? Must have another there we go. Shake my hand. And you hear a lot of people on YouTube, it has been beautified for people, the love of women. And they think people are only men. Well, people doesn't mean men. It means men and women equally. And it is impossible that if Allah was to make us all homosexuals and lesbians, he would have said it's been beautified to, for men or for people, the love and desires of men and women and kids, in which instance, It also encourages pedophilia. But this is a dangerous A, see? The whole problem is because of the misunderstanding of the term Nisa. And also the next surah that comes after Ali Imran, Surah to Nisa, they translate it into what? The surah of? Here is what it means. If you remember when you did an Nasakh uh, al-Mansukh, ma nansakh min ayatin aw nunsiha. Nasa equals forget. Nasa equals forget. Nasi equals To defer something, defer something till later. What Allah means is this: An Nisa is not. It's not women. An Nisa means those things that are deferred and come later. What the, what, what what it means? The love and desires. iPhone 8 when it comes out. Don't people love having the latest? Yeah, the latest car, the latest, the latest, the latest. This is what's deferred. 
those things that are deferred that will come later on. Flat panel television, 50, 60 inches, right? So what Allah says is, it has been beautified to mankind. It's in our instinct to always love the things that are the recent, the most recent things. No, an-nisa, an-nisa. An-nisa is the most recent deferred things. Nisa'a is to defer, to, to, to defer for later on. So nisa doesn't mean woman at all. Why is woman called nisa? Why? Yes. Why? Because women, they always, they defer, they have the progeny, they give birth behind them. When Allah wants to speak about the nisa as women, he always puts in the ayah something that is to women. You understand? There is another so ayah, we, we, another ayah we'll see inshallah. So here is the things that are def, uh, deferred and come later, like iPhone 8, latest television, latest technology, technology later, even clothing, styles, everything that is it, in our instinct, we always love the fresh things. When someone comes and says, you know what, I like here those old Nokia phones, I love them. He's, he, to us, he's peculiar. The person is strange, right? Al-Banin are not children. Al-Banin, <laughs> look at it this way. Al-Bina. There we go. Al-Bina, here is real estate. Properties. Right. Properties. Properties. Al-Bina, here are constructions. Now, when you read the ayah, it has been made desireful and beautifully loved to, to people the love of new recent technologies or everything that is fresh and new constructions properties housing silver, yeah. yeah and then gold silver money horses things like that makes sense or doesn't make sense now because with this ayah and this is where a lot of people the homosexuals muslims they use this ayah to say that it is okay allah has beautified it for us it. yes and they're right because to, for people, women to love women, to us also, men to love men, it's okay. And to love kids and desire them. We just give the tunnel explanation to tell people, desire as in you like it, as to have children. No, if someone that desires sex with kids, you can't tell them otherwise because there is nothing in the ayah that says to have them. You, you, you understand that thing there? And uh, to understand this term of uh, Nasi, and then we pray Maghrib. If you take Surat An-Nur, yes, An-Nur is uh, 24. Yes, 24. If you can take An-Nur 24. And I want you to go to Ayah 31. Do me a favor. Do you have English? Yes. Yeah, please. Can you, can you read English? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to hear your voice a bit. Ayah 31. It's a long one. Yeah? Yes. And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and protect their private parts, and not to show off their adornments except only that which is apparent, like palms of hands. Or oh, that's crap. That's palm hands. That's that's them putting or, their. Uh... Or one eye, or both eyes. Yeah. To see the way, <laughs> or how to dress, like real gloves and so on. Um, not to reveal. And not to reveal their beauty except. And not to reveal their adornments except huh? to their husbands, their fathers, their husbands' fathers, their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers or their brothers' sons or their sisters' sons or their Muslim women. Put that thing there. Their Muslim nisa'ihin. It doesn't mean that. No. It doesn't mean that. It, it's crap. It doesn't mean that. What the ayah means is this. Here is what the ayah means. It says here that all the female slaves. All the rubbish. Slaves, rubbish. Slaves. It doesn't mean that. Here is what it means. Allah here is telling a woman to whom she can reveal her beauties. Yeah. How she can, you know, normal. Exceptions. Yeah. Yes, the exception. He goes, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِنَا And tell the believing women to gently lower their gaze's, to cut it or shout it, okay? فَضْنَ فُرُوجَهُنْ And that they protect their al-farj, is the private part, okay? وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنْ And that they should not reveal the, what beautifies them, the, okay? زِينَتَهُنْ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا Except that which shows. إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا a lot of scholars, they say the hair of the woman is part of them. وَلْيَضْرِبْنَ بِخُمُرِنَهِنَّ عَلَى جُيُوبِهِنَّ And that they should cover uh, any opening in their body, like the chest, you know, the, 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 when the, the breasts come. The, yeah, the cleavage, they cover it. وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ And that they should not reveal their beauties. إِلَّا لِبُعُولَتِهِنَّ بُعُولَتِنَا is the partner. It's called بَعْل. And then, أَوْ آبَائِهِنَّ Or their fathers. أَوْ آبَائِ بُعُولَتِهِنَّ Or the fathers of their husbands. Like his father. Yeah, father-in-law, second akhya. Or their kids, mom with children, she can be normal. 
Yeah, 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 abna'ihin. Or abna'i bu'ulatihin. Or you, if you marry, uh, uh, if her husband has kids and she, they have kids, his children are mahram to her, so she can show her beauty to her. Or ikhwanihin, or to their brothers. Or bani ikhwanihin, or to the kids of their nephew and of their brothers. Or or bani akhawatihin, and uh, with the sisters and the kids of their sisters. Or nisa'ihin, i.e. the progeny that is deferred from the children of the brother and the sister. The niece and nephew when they marry, they have kids. I.e. their kids are mahram to her as well. She can show her beauty. When that little kid marries as well, his kids are mahram. I.e. any progeny that is deferred until the person dies. It doesn't mean women. What is the Arabic word? Nisa'ihin. Okay. Nisa'ihin. Here is Nisa'ihin. Nisa'ihin. It means the things that are deferred. Ah. Nasiya, no, no. Nasiya means you defer something to later on. You didn't do it now, it's deferred, you do it later. So the progeny of the nieces and nephews from both ends. Okay, okay. It doesn't make sense here, sisters in Islam. Rubbish. And then they tell you otherwise, now she should cover this on the front of women. You see, here what it means is. Allah speaks the people that she grows with at home, including the nephew, uh, nephews and nieces from both brothers and sisters. When the nephew and nieces have grown up and they marry, and their progeny is deferred, it came later, extension, then that she can show her real beauty. If that little kid, the grand nephew put it like that, he also marries and has kids, his kids are also exactly, she can show her beauty towards them. And the line goes on. And this, is the tunnel, that one there is the tunnel, understanding what you are doing here is what the ocean, and doesn't it, the ayah mean a lot better than that? One last ayah, inshallah. We are going to go to Surah An Naba, number 78. Yes, 78 yes. Okay, go to ayah number 31. Read ya Usul Nabil. Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. Verily for the muttaqun, uh -huh. there will be a success. Okay, pay attention now. We, go, we are going to go to read until 36. Uh -huh. Gardens and vineyards, young, full-breasted, mature maidens of equal age, and a full cup uh -huh. of wine in brackets. Uh -huh. No love we, the dirty false evil talk shall they hear, there ain't no lying. Uh -huh. A reward from your Lord, ample calculated gift. Good. So now, the muttaqin mafas, they have lots of rewards and things in general. Hadaiqa wa anaba. So Allah subhanahu wa talks to you about gardens and vineyards. I want you to avoid the ayah 33 and go to 34. Allah talks wa ka'asan jihaqa are wine glasses filled to the top beautifully, right? And then when you drink, you get drunk, you're not gonna pick vile or see vile. How did you get these full breasted women when Allah is talking about wine? And this makes the Quran very masculine. Why would Allah say uh, full breasted women in Jannah? Well, what's the purpose of it? We make fun of the Bible, but we do the same errors. But look at it like this, okay? To the people of Jannah, al muttaqin those people who uh, fulfill the rights of taqwa properly, Mafazan, a lot of rewards and everything in Jannah. First one of them is a lot of gardens. In these gardens, you have vineyards. What do you do from the vineyards? Allah says that, وَكَوَاعِبَ atraba, i.e. the grapes that you see, the vineyards. It's not like one big grape, one tiny sway. The, the grapes are beautifully at the same size. You see it all, how nicely it's beautifully erect. That's what Allah is talking about, not about women. Allah talks about the vineyard that people make wine about in Jannah. When you look at it, it's beautiful. It's layered. It is beautifully erect. It's all content, yeah. Yeah, it's, the content talks about wine. Why, why do I, why would Allah speak about gardens and wine? Talks about women and breasts and then go back to wine again doesn't make sense yet everybody understands that in all books of fiqh like that like that I still think that's hurain, nothing always allah talks about it's still about wine allah talks about the gardens you don't see from far a big garden small garden all the gardens are the same size kawaib kawaib atrab al kab whatever is about like your ankle and things like that and the grapes when they are in there i don't know how to call it the whole grape uh, branch the individual grapes they stick out all of them are the right size no big grape no small grape no sick grape perfect sizes and the grapes when they are perfect they add beauty to it and then imagine if they're beautiful in the size and the way they are what do you think of the taste
And that's why you always read it like that. You talk about gardens and uh, grapes, and then you go to fully breasted women, and then you go back to drinking wine. It doesn't. Yeah. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Yes, and, and people can say like the Quran is very macho. Yeah, it's very wrong. Okay, if, if we are going to get full-breasted women, what are <laughs> women, why didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, excuse my terminology, full private erect mans? And, that, and this is the great danger when we masculinize Al-Quran. We don't use it as an ocean thinking and rather than just what Ibn Kathir said and what the, this and that said, and actually it's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to say. I just mentioned three ayat. Three, you just mentioned three. Yeah. You four, four, four. Uh, we did Surat Al-Nas, and then we did Surat Ali Imran, Zuyna Li Nas Habu Shahwat Min Nisa, and then we did Surat Al-Nur. What ayah was that? Uh, ayah was 31, and then we did Surat uh, Al-Naba, ayah 31 until 36. Next week, inshallah, we're going to take other ayat and work with them. I pray to Allah that these ayat are now clear in your mind and you would inshallah convey them to others. This is again your brother Abdul Salam Abu Hanifa to be part of my group. Just send me a message on WhatsApp 0044-7876-408735. And until then, you have a wonderful, great day. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.